Do you have a whole bunch of rare, you have rare, getting more rare, getting more rare, and that's the way we like doing it. We like bringing you special, beautiful, unique items that have incredible value. So right here, we are looking at the design of the Walking Liberty Half Dollar. This is a coin that was being circulated in the United States in the beginning of the 20th century. And it is a design that people were so enamored with that we had to bring it back in 1986 when the United States just started minting American silver eagles. This coin, however, being a burnished coin, is only the third year of issue that the United States was producing burnished coins. So, I mean, if you can buy into anything, I always recommend getting into one of the first years. I mean, I recommend owning all of it because these make incredible collectibles and we're selling them to you at the right price. But if you're trying to be really, uh, really smart or you're trying to be creative, you always want to buy into the, la the first couple years of an issue or the last couple years of an issue. If we look at what a 1988 American Silver Eagle in MS-70, these coins bring close to $1,000. So this is the third year of issue of the burnished coins. Hopefully, in, in just a few years from now, 10, 15 years, this will be enjoying what all of the other third year of issue coins enjoy. And I don't see why it wouldn't. Burnished coins are specially designed. These take more time, more money, and more effort to produce with this beautiful matte-like satiny finish. The coin has this milky-like, it's just gorgeous. I mean, it's just like all of the fields and the devices, the designs have a similar look to it, and it's just creamy and milky, something very beautiful. This is a coin that is steeped in American tradition. We have Lady Liberty walking forward always. You know, it's a big part of, a big part of our traditions here is going forward. You'll see it in pictures. You always see it in the movies. It's part of the warrior mentality going forward. And you get the bonus of having it hand signed by one of the most influential coin dealers and numismatists to ever live. Thomas Uram, a hand signature by this man. I've seen them sell for well over a hundred. Just a signature is worth more than that. Incredible. I've walked around the World's Fair of Money with this gentleman, and it was like being with Elvis Presley or a member of the Beatles. Everybody was pulling at us. Everybody wanted him to talk to them. We would go out to dinner and realize that non-coin people recognized him. He's an extremely famous man, and more importantly than that, extremely influential. He is responsible for a lot of the coins that are being pushed out by the government right now. 